Hi everyone, I'm Chaluka from Markers and Minions and today's tip for you is how to insert a vertical resource into a horizontal slide deck. One flaw with Google Slides and PowerPoint is that if you've got a vertical resource, you cannot put it into a horizontal slide deck. Your slide deck has to be either all horizontal slides or all vertical slides. So a workaround to go from something like this, which is an 8.5 by 11, to something like this, which is 11 by 8.5, is to take a screenshot of your vertical resource and then paste it on half of your horizontal slide as an image. And then you'll create this space over here where you've got some additional graphics and text for your students so that it looks like one complete slide. So here's how we're going to do it. First, I'm going to open up a blank slide and the dimensions are 11 by eight and a half. Then I'm going to go over to the resource that I want and I'm going to use my snipping tool which on a Mac is shift command four. And I'm going to take a screenshot of the resource that I want. And you can do this with any resource. And then with that screenshot, I'm gonna grab it, drag it and drop it onto my new slide deck over here where I'm building out you know, my week's lessons for my students. And now I'm going to take the shape tool and create a big rectangle over here to add some dimension. I'm going to fill it in with a color. Let's just use my blue again. No outline. And then here I'll add in my Bitmoji and any sort of text or inst you know instructions for the kids. In this case, I have a checklist since they're doing a writing assignment. So it's a, just an editing checklist that they can use to edit their writing. Um, but another good idea is to just to have instructions on what they're supposed to do with this activity that you're um, pasting over onto the slide for them. So I'm gonna take the text box that I already made in my last slide, and I did that by just inserting a text box like so, and I just typed a quick checklist. And then what I did in order to make those little boxes was I made little rectangle or shapes with the shape tool, squares with the shape tool. So I'm gonna copy those and paste them here. And this is going to be the basic, basically I don't want my kids to be able to change anything that's on this slide. This is gonna be the final product. So what I'm gonna do is actually take a screenshot of this now, this whole entire slide, and I'm gonna let it save to my desktop. And now I'm gonna set this image as the background because I don't want my students to be able to do this on their assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything on the slide and delete it, and then go to background, choose image. I'm going to find the image from my desktop. And now it's going to be set as my background and my students are not going to be able to change anything. So from here, I wanna create the text boxes where they'll actually be able to type. And I like to do tables instead of text boxes because they're harder to mess up, harder for the kids to resize and delete by accident. So I'm going to just drag it over where I want them to type, resize it. I'll set the background color to white and I'll create a little border for them so that they, they know that they type within the blue box. And I'll set any fonts if I have any preferences. I know I want it double spaced and size 14 century gothic is pretty good. So now I'll take this and copy it, paste it, and then we'll resize it. And I don't need these ones to be double spaced and I'll place them right over the boxes where they type the date. And if it doesn't let you resize it to make it small enough, just change the font size up here and then it'll let you change the box. Okay, and then we're gonna copy paste one more time and place it here. All right, and now I'm going to add in my Bitmojis for some fun. And this, this option is actually, you can do this step first before you take a screenshot of your whole slide because you might not want your Bitmojis to be movable to your students. You might want them to be flattened just like the rest of this slide. Um, so in this case, this Bitmoji that I got, yeah, they don't need to be moving that. That could have stayed there. 
but these little ones, my little mini check marks, I do want them to be able to move those over so I'm not gonna have those flattened. And I'm just gonna stick those off to the side of my slide so that the kids can just drag and drop. And there you go, you can do this with any resource that's eight and a half by 11. You can put it into an 11 by eight and a half slide deck. It's easier to do it this way than to take a horizontal resource and place it into a vertical slide deck, eight and a half by 11. So I recommend when you're creating your digital resources for your students for their you know week or day, I recommend doing an 11 by eight and a half and then inserting all of their resources into here.